Hey, and welcome to this week's Pick a Card. This week's on Froggy Tea Time, the energies are pretty heavy this week feeling, and we have got a lot of cards for each pile this week. We have for your choices, Baby Jasper, Oscar as always, and Miss Rainbow wanted to make an appearance tonight. <clears throat> These energies are going to go from the time you watch this video, whatever day it is, to that following Sunday for you. Timestamps will be down below as usual for your convenience to skip around. I will be doing Rebel Deck pulls at the end and also a food oracle, well, a uh, food tarot card pull to see um, kind of like a breakfast thing for, well, I don't know. I'm going to try it out for breakfast tomorrow if I pull something decent. If not, if it's not healthy and it's junk food, I'm going to just skip it and leave it for a snack later in the week. Um, if you want, you can try it out. If you like these cards, let me know down below in my comments. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and joining our Happy Frog family. And thank you to all my um, subscribers for your likes, comments, shares. And you guys have been absolutely awesome. Keep up the great work, and you guys have a blessed one as well. If you do not like cursing, this is your one and only warning to please skip the ending Rebel Deck messages at this time. And know that I do love you, and thank you for all your likes and comments and your subscriptions. So let's jump right in, and we will start with Baby Jasper, okay? Before I continue rambling. <laughs> If you guys have been here before and you've seen these videos before, then you guys already know what this deck is, which is my Alice in Wonderland's Oracle from Lucy Cavendish. I'm going to save those cards for last for our tea time messages for the week. And let's see what we have. So we have expecting miracles. Miracles are blossoming in my life. So with this, I feel like for this week, with the 1111 energies. I feel like there are a lot of blessings and miracles coming in for you and taking place at this time. If they haven't manifested in your life already, then they soon will be within the next week or whenever it is you're watching this because these readings are technically timeless anyways. Please also remember that these are a general reading and to take what resonates and leave the rest if it does not. And please do not force it to fit your situation. I know that was a mouthful, huh? Anyway, continuing, simplifying your life. <laughs> yeah, I should have simplified that, huh? I cherish the simple pleasures of my life. So with this, I feel like you're releasing a lot of old things that no longer serve you. And also I feel like it's time to take and do a little, almost like spring cleaning is what I'm hearing anyways, even though it's kind of fall and winter, I feel like a decluttering of your um, surroundings in your, in your home might feel a little bit necessary to, you know, bring in some more new energies and some new abundance for you as well as what I hear. And I also hear uh, space clearing with that, like loud and clear space clearing. So definitely some space clearing this week is very needed for you guys, whoever picked the uh, baby Jasper pile. Standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. So with this, I feel like you are definitely standing in your power this week and you are definitely on an um, upscale high of feeling absolutely wonderful. And I hope that you are and that things will be definitely going your way and successful this week with whatever it is that happens. I feel like there's going to be a really good week at work for whoever, um, like if you're, you're dreading the work week this week, know that it's going to be a good week this week. I know I'm hoping that it's a good week because we've been slamming all week on my unit with lots and lots of babies because I work on a um, labor and delivery unit. Anyway, we have breaking trail this week. A breakthrough is at hand. So I feel like there's definitely going to be a lot of new things coming in for you this week and new ideas and projects that will be coming in and new ways to go about doing the same old, same old, and maybe get it a little bit, um, done a little bit quicker because as I always say, work smarter, not harder. We have rejuvenating rain, clear the past and heal the present. So I feel like 
with this, a lot of things are washing away from the past and old emotions. And I feel like kind of like almost like a good cry might be needed this week. So if you feel a little, um, a little down and upset, definitely take time to have a good cry. Let it out. Also, if you feel like you just need to be refreshed and rejuvenated, a nice um, hot shower or whatever, or a hot bath, feel free to cleanse that way and release everything that way because that's technically what I do is I take a nice shower and I pretend that the water is completely cleansed. Well, not pretend, but because it does for me. It completely cleanses me and rejuvenates me completely when I take the shower and I feel 100% better in my emotions and I just feel so fresh when I get out. Other than being fresh and clean, obviously. <laughs> I'm just saying, mentally and emotionally, I feel a lot better when I'm done taking a shower, okay? <laughs> we'll just put it that way. <laughs> but anyway, <sighs> wondrous universe, walk in beauty. So with this, I feel like a lot of sacred knowledge may be coming in for you and a lot of wisdom will be shared and um, learned for you this week, okay? So let's see what else. I don't know if I can pick up the cards. We have exchanging gifts. So with this, I feel like it's more of kind of like intuitive gifts. I feel like whatever you feel intuitively or divinely guided to say to another or in any type of situation, I feel like when you share that, you are definitely going to be sharing a gift of wisdom and insight with your friends or family or whoever, even if it's a perfect and total stranger is what I feel from this because I'm really attracted to her mask. And I also feel like you will be spending a lot of time with some animals for my animal lovers out there, spending a lot of time with your pets and them sharing their wisdom with you and all of their love and kindness and giving you that love and support that you need as a gift. I know my puppy's been doing that a lot for me lately. Then we have 11 <laughs> synchronicities with 11, 11 being tomorrow. And we have by the book. So with this, I feel like everything is basically straightforward going with this week and that whatever is coming in, it is what it is. And to take it at face value because I'm seeing a face right here in this design on the pattern. I don't know. If, yeah, that shows up pretty well. And for me, they're walking in a straight line with these elephants, even though they're moving to the left, I feel like everything will be in basically straight and narrow by the book from A to Z soup to nuts. However it is that you need to go about getting things done. It's definitely just cut and dry this week for you. Then we have TikTok. with this. I feel like with any projects, I feel like people are under pressure with a lot of um, time limits and rushing to get things done and it feels a little bit chaotic. So with this, I feel the need to say prioritize and don't get carried away with things, especially with worrying about time this week. Things will happen as they need to. And if you are worried about getting to work on time or wherever it is you need to be on time, leave a little early. It's always best and you will make it in just enough time. Then we have a chance in the wind. So with this, I feel like maybe, let's see, what am I getting with this? I need to take a closer look. Sorry. I know you guys are like taking a closer look with me, but bear with me. I get the feeling that someone might be moving this week. I, it, cause I'm really attracted to how this almost kind of feels like it's a house on a horse or well, a zebra, excuse me. <laughs> and like a moving feeling. And I feel like you would be leaving the past behind and traveling forward with this. And then I also feel like I'm really attracted to the wind. 
I feel like with all this releasing, it's basically just um, letting things go and basically letting the wind take them away is what I'm getting. Let Give whatever worries and um, issues you have up to spirit in the universe and let them carry it away for you and handle it is what I'm getting. Okay. And then for a little bit of love this week, we have look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need uh, to change or modify your behavior. So with this, I feel like taking a nice long hard look in the mirror and with childlike um, eyes and innocence, take some time to be kind and gentle to yourself and to feel the need, like I feel like the need to tell you that you need to open up and explore new ideas with this this week as well and to kind of walk down on untaken paths I feel like kind of blaze a new trail with this because I'm really attracted to the what looks like a pathway on the top of her head and what else I feel like it's definitely also asking us to take some time to rest and rejuvenate and relax with our partners as well this week and to enjoy each other's company. And then we have, you are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. So with this, I feel the sky is the limit. Your imagination has no bounds and no limits. So whatever it is you feel drawn to do this week with your partner or just in general, even if you're pursuing a new relationship, sky's the limit. Reach for it. Anything goes this week with that, okay? So for our tea time messages from the Alice in Wonderland deck, we have do not drink poison. Do not do things you know you are bad or um do not do things you know are bad for you. Blah. Definitely time for me to go to bed. <laughs> so I feel like there's some jealousy this week and some envy with some things. And I feel like there's also a lot of gossip. There's always a lot of gossip, especially at the workplace. And I feel like whatever this gossip is, it's a lot of jealousy and envy towards the other people that this is about. And know that if they're talking about someone else, that they are most likely talking about you as well when you're not there. So with that, I'm just going to leave it there. And as always, you guys know how I feel about this card. Don't drink the poison and expect the other person to die. Remember that. This card tends to come up a lot every time I use this deck. <laughs> And then we have keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. So with this, I feel like someone's a ticking time bomb out there or a powder keg is what I'm hearing loud and clearly. And I feel like it's take time to take a step back and relax and to really think about what it is before you say it and to hold your tongue a little bit if you can, because if you don't have anything nice to say, please don't say it at all is what I'm getting with this card. And I definitely try and hold yourself back a little bit from exploding. But if it's necessary, let it rip. That's all I'm going to say. Because it's never good to hold things in if it's really necessary. But definitely think about your words and choose them wisely. Then we have, we're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. So with this, I feel like there's definitely some different point of views that may not mesh well with you. But try and see the... Um, point of view of the other person and hopefully they will see your point of view as well in the situation and try and explain it peacefully rather than in anger or resentment or just try not to force yourself or not yourself but your values on someone else or their, your beliefs on someone else because not everyone shares the same beliefs as you is what I'm getting with this. And then we have, it's always tea time. <laughs> that could not be any better for this reading. We have eternity, endless moments, and repetition. So I feel like what I'm getting from this is the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Please don't think that. 
you got to break the cycle is what I'm getting. Break the mold. And I know things tend to run smoothly for a while because I'm really attracted to the gears in this uh, teapot. And I feel like it's, you're bored with this. You're also, you want a different result out of whatever this is and you're so bored with doing it and going around and around and around and around that it's just not getting anywhere. I feel like it's time to take a step away from the table and to try something new for once. It's the only way I can explain this. So, and maybe try a different flavor of tea or a different flavor of, or a way of doing things. Is, do a different way of doing things and step out of your box and your comfort zone to get things done and you will definitely get a different result is what I feel. And that's all your messages for these. And for this week, I ho do hope these resonated and remember that take what does and leave what doesn't. So for my folks who picked Oscar, we have the Alice in Wonderland cards for the Tea Time Us excuse me, for the tea time messages. And let's see what we get for the energies of this week. Everything likes to stick together for me. We have reviewing your life and clutter. And then we have radiant vitality is filling my life. So with this, I feel like, and the other reading got this too, is cleaning out the clutter, getting rid of everything that no longer serves you and uh, that way it allows for you to have the space for new and better things to come in whether it be physical or emotional it's definitely time to take and do a life review which is pretty much a stockpile list of what you have and what you want and what you don't want and get rid of what you don't want and release it so that the universe can bring you something better in its place we have dwelling in the truth, or dwelling in truth. I stand in the light of truth. So with this, I feel like you are going to have a lot of intuition and intuitive, um, like aha moments this week that will be coming in, especially during meditation. Cause I feel like she's kind of meditating and going within to figure things out. And she definitely knows her truth and she knows who she is and what she wants and she is not afraid to shine her light. So if that's you, more power to you. And we have savoring pleasure. I fully embrace bliss in my life. So this was, this is kind of like, this really goes well with the first card, card set. So if you want to take a, a look at uh, Baby Jasper's reading, definitely feel free because these were in the beginning messages as well like that I have what I'm getting is I feel like it's definitely time to take some me time and to be gentle with yourself as well and to release everything by taking a bubble bath or a nice hot shower and treating yourself to some nice R&R &R time and I also feel like if you like listening to the music or to music in the shower by all means, play something that's nice and upbeat and get into it. Let's see. Also, I hear enjoy some good food and wine this week if you you are so inclined to do so, if you like to drink wine. I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying. For those that it makes sense and resonates with, by all means, indulge just a little bit. And we have uh, crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So with this, I hear don't burn the bridges that you might need to go back over one day with some with uh, friendships and also business relationships is what I'm getting with this. Then I have unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. So I feel like whatever is going on that's brand new for you this week, whether it be new job, new relationship, new home, or moving, or just traveling to a new destination, I feel like you're definitely headed in the right direction, and to just relax and follow your intuition with this, because you're being uh, divinely guided is what I hear. Then we have solitude. 
in silence peace prevails so I feel like some alone time might be needed to go within to listen to your intuition a little bit more and to figure out what also needs to be released at this time because the energies of the 1111 are definitely going to come in and help clear those out So let's see what else we have. We have Between Worlds. So with this, I feel like everything isn't just in black and white. It's also different and seeing different points of view with this and seeing different perspectives is what I'm getting from this. So if someone has a different opinion or a different perspective, try and see it from their point of view and vice versa. And I also feel like it's definitely an intuitive response to this too that needs to be handled to listen to your intuition and to see things from that type of point of view as well because I really feel attracted to the crown and what looks like kind of like rays of light coming into the crown and I'm trying to get a good shot of that so that you can see what I'm talking about which is right here so and then we have peace. I feel like this week is going to be a very calm and go with the flow type of week and a very peaceful energy. And that there will be a lot of new ideas and possibilities and maybe some pregnancies coming up is what I'm feeling from this with the egg. So if that is what you would like to do, by all means, you know what to do and how to go about it and if you don't you know what you got to do to avoid it okay so lots of eggs in these cards this week so definitely lots of newness and we have here and now we have past future and basically this is the present you feel like you're just sitting there stuck kind of trying to figure out <laughs> you are here <laughs> is what that flag says See if I can get it in a shot. All right. So with this, I feel like there's definitely some changes that need to be made because three and two in numerology adds up to five and five is the number of change. So think there's definitely some changes that need to be made. So whatever new ideas you're getting about, um, either moving or, um, basically trying to get unstuck from where you are, please follow that intuition and know that it's, the right direction for you to go in and that these are some necessary changes especially I feel like with love if you are in the midst of ending a relationship it's probably most needed at this time for you to have new love to be able to come in with your future please take whatever resonates and leave whatever doesn't okay I know that these are just general readings but I'm just putting that out there because I didn't say it earlier. Then we have Treasure Island. I feel like there's definitely going to be a lot of abundance this week and a lot of um, love and joy to come in and also maybe some hidden treasures to be found this week. Whether that's physically or emotionally, only you will be able to know. And I feel like everything will be going swimmingly and that's about it. That's all I'm getting with this. And that whatever cycles are coming to an end, because I'm attracted to the number nine, nine is about endings and completion. Know that those things are coming in so that uh, new, new things can come in for you. Okay? Even though things may seem a little murky and unknown right now because I'm really attracted to the water and how um, blurry it is in the picture, everything will um, clear up soon enough for you to be able to tell what's what and have the right ideas with things. For a little bit of extra love, we have actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. So with this, I feel like waste not, want not is what I'm getting from this and to speak or forever hold your peace. So if there's something you've been wanting to say to someone, please speak up now because if you don't, you're probably gonna, you might miss an opportunity is what I'm trying to say. So don't let opportunities pass you by. Seize the moment. And know that it's probably the right thing to do if that's what you are so intuitively inclined to do. 
and it's also the right direction for you. So we have love is all around you. Blah, blah, blah. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth, which it is. You have your family, your friends, they all love you, including some of your coworkers is what I hear. I feel like somebody maybe at work might be having their eye on some of you. Not sure exactly who that's for, but remember, take whatever resonates and leave the rest. And I feel like things are turning in the right direction and everything is flowing as, as it should and that know that whatever difficult times you may be going through right now, these two, these things will, um, pass as well is what I get from this. Okay. So for our tea time messages from the Alice in Wonderland deck, what, um, from Lucy Cavendish, we have all must have prizes trying to please everyone. So with this, I'm really attracted to what looks like, oh wait, that's a thimble. I almost thought it was a salt shaker. <laughs> I always kind of feel like somebody's been a little bit salty this week <laughs> or a little bit of more flavor is needed to change things up. But I also feel like don't try to please everyone because you may not always be everyone's cup of tea is what I hear. And that goes as well for me. I completely resonate with that. So let's see what else we get. We have belong to your own dream, create your own life. So with this, I feel like taking charge of your own life and following your dreams is much needed this week. And also pay attention to your dreams because I feel like you've been getting a lot of messages from your guides and they've been trying to pound these messages into your head. I know they've been doing it to me, even though I've been rudely awakened a couple of times this week and then I just poof, forget everything so that I can't write it down. And it's happened to me about twice. The first time my dog decided she was going to love me up and bark in my face at five o'clock in the morning. I love my baby. Don't get me wrong. I just don't like getting woken up at 5 a.m. every day by being barked in my face. <laughs> and then I also woke up with a Charlie horse in my leg. Oh, that was the worst awakening ever because I was in such a blissful sleep. Oh my God, it was so comfortable. And then all of a sudden I stretched and ugh, I woke up almost screaming. Anyway, I digress. We have changed in the night. You have changed quickly. So I feel like there is definitely a lot of change coming in this week. And here we have 11 again. Big, big synchronicities this week. And then we have 32, which is another five with things um, changing. Lots of big changes and um, some twin flame relationships coming in together and also other new relationships and also some positive synchronicities as well coming in with this. Let's see, we have investigate number seven. Look closely, ask questions, think before acting. So with this, I feel like there are some major decisions that need to be made this week, but there's also um, a call for a lot of thought to be put into these before um, any action is taken for these new ideas that are um, starting to um, take place and come into uh, manifestation for you, okay? And these are all your messages I get for this week with this, and please stay tuned for the Rebel Deck if you like that. And then we have Miss Rainbow. Let's see what she has to say this week. These are the Alice in Wonderland cards in case you jump to this time slot. And these will be read at the end for our tea time cards this week. I haven't used that deck in a while and it's actually one of my uh, favorites to use. Let's see. We have Planting Seeds. <clears throat> seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. So with this, I feel like there's a lot of new beginnings and new ideas that need to be planted. And a lot of patience is being called for at this time to cultivate these new ideas. Then we have receiving from angels. Uh, shimmering wings of angels embrace me with love. So I feel like 
you've been getting a lot of messages from your guides and angels lately and your intuition is pretty much screaming at you lately with synchronicities like if you've been seeing the numbers 11 11 1 1 1 and so on and so forth we all know the numbers um these are definitely messages from your angels and guides trying to get your attention to lead you in the right direction and to tell you that you are headed in the right direction and to listen to whatever it is you are being intuitively guided with and whatever these aha moment or ideas that are just spontaneously coming in through your crown chakra or basically into your mind we have following your bliss my soul sings with joy I like this because I really like the unicorns so I feel like with this because some of you have actually been doing the work like I keep saying and you've been following your intuition so you are definitely going to be coming into your happiness and your bliss and whatever it is that you've been um, trying to manifest and that I feel like listening to some music that's very positive will help also to keep you in that high vibrational state to help you manifest these things quicker and to grant your wishes this week so awesome news yeah thumbs up <laughs> all right so we also have traveling lightly simplify your life so with this i feel like everybody's been getting it a card like this in each of the piles is a declutter okay they're definitely asking us this week for sure to declutter de-stress let go and release whatever no longer serves us whether it be emotionally or physically and to head a, head in the right direction after you've done this declutter and release those things that no longer releasing the the things that no longer serve you Lola. tongue tied again today and know that it's for your greatest and highest good and that the more you release the um more you will receive then we have passion and pleasure savor your life so with this i feel like there's a lot of enjoyment to be had this week and a lot of partying that can come up as well for some people. I don't know who that's going to resonate with. But if it's your birthday this week, happy birthday. And I hope you enjoy your week with that. Also, I feel like it's also needed to spend some time with uh, friends and family. And to just kick back and enjoy their company. Then we have answering the call. The time is now. So with this, I feel like you are being divinely guided and asked to go in a certain direction in your life at this moment or down a certain path and to know that I know it's unknown and that it seems kind of scary because that's kind of how it looks to me, but know that it's safe for you to do so because I feel like this deer here knows that it's safe to head down in this direction because if a deer is going to sit there and chill, it's safe. And if it ain't, that deer's going to run. Kind of like a hunter's thing. My father-in-law is a hunter. So that's kind of how I felt like with that. Because that's exactly what I was getting. We have chop wood. So with this, I'm. it's, it's another space clearing card. And because this is a broom and then... Um, we also have some pails of water here, so definitely some uh, decluttering and some space clearing is needed this week for you guys. And they're kind of like drilling that into us this week. And that's all I'm getting from this. But definitely as soon as you release all these things and you declutter your space and let go of what no longer serves you, that abundance is going to flow right in and replace it with something way better than what you probably ever imagined. Even if it doesn't seem like at first know that it's a blessing in disguise then we have co-create so with this I'm really attracted to the egg again and I feel like there's a lot of newness coming in and maybe some pregnancies so for whoever that resonates with congratulations and whoever like just remember that not all these resonate with everybody because they're a general reading so just take what does and leave the rest 
I feel like there's a lot of new um, insight also coming in for like new ideas because owls to me are wisdom. And because of this egg, it's like new ideas. Especially like if you are have if you have a dream where you're like giving birth, it usually means there's something new coming in for you. Like mostly new ideas, like you're giving birth to new ideas and sooner or later those ideas will just pop right out, <laughs> so to speak. I know it seems kind of wild and crazy at this time and that things seem a little bit maybe like catty. Know that it, everything will work out and get a little bit smoother for you, even though it feels like you're walking on a fine line here, okay? Or on a tight wire. Tight rope, tight wire, same thing. You get what I'm saying. Then we have higher power. Definitely listen to your intuition. Number four, this is, um, this, for number four, it usually means there's extra angels and guides around you giving you love and support at this time, especially with them giving you the, um, the number of signs that you guys have been receiving is what I'm hearing and to listen to your intuition because you've got a lot of, um, messages coming in and synchronicities coming in through your crown chakra is what I'm hearing with this. And we have 21 clean it up. Good Lord, they are yelling at y'all to clean out your space. I'm sorry, but that is what I'm getting. It's just like clean, 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 clean. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, all right, I get it. I'm cleaning tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> but anyway, this 21 equates to three, which is um, part of a master number like 33 where you have ascended masters also helping guiding you in the right direction and to helping you release all these things that no longer serve you and to declutter. So know that you are divinely supported in this time. So with some messages from love, we have, I love you. These are very important words. So with this, I feel like Someone will be expressing their um, their true innermost feelings to you. And I'm hearing that they're going to be saying those three magic little words. And it will be music to your ears, I feel. And I feel also that some of you might be saying that to your partners as well. And that it will be music to their ears and magical. And this is just divinely guided is what I'm getting with this. And know that it's the right action to take because she's heading this way. So it feels like the right, she's going in the right direction. So you guys are headed in the right direction with that. Okay. And then we have received with love and appreciation, receiving something love, receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. So with this, I feel like some gifts might be coming in for you this week from your partners for those who are in a current relationship and for others, I feel like maybe your crush might finally ask you out or, um, at least at the very least show some sort of kind gesture towards you kind of as a gift and a way of showing their appreciation towards you is what I hear. And then I feel like for some people, their partners for them with the way that they show and express their love is through giving gifts. So with this, I feel like there's definitely a lot of abundance coming in and maybe some, um, extra gifts coming in for you. Like I'm, I'm trying to word this correctly with what I'm getting because everything comes in so fast and sometimes I can't explain it the way I want to say it because I know what I want to say, but it's just not coming out correctly. I feel like it's been kind of like a stagnant cold period between you guys and that it's finally going to be over even though it's going to turn into something beautiful at this time is what I'm getting with these gifts that are um, coming in and being given to you at this time. Okay. And I feel like they also need to be valued and uh, cherished and that that's what they're hoping that you feel because they want you to know that they really value you and they really cherish you is what I'm getting. Okay. So with the tea time cards from the Alice in Wonderland deck, we have wake up. 
it's your moment. So with this, I feel like with these gifts coming in, you've been waiting for this for a long time and it's that moment that you've been so patiently waiting for. And I feel like maybe somebody might be getting flowers this week from their loved one. So if that happens, let me know down, let me know down below in my comments. And I really hope that these re messages resonate with you. And then we have use your time well. Make every moment count. So what I'm also getting, and I'm being uh, drawn back to this card, is I feel like if somebody gives you some flowers this week, there's not a hidden, hidden agenda. So please don't take it that way. They're genuinely, genuinely giving you this out of the kindness of their heart to show you love and um, appreciation, okay? So with user time well, I feel like they definitely want to spend a lot of time with you and because they really value those moments with you is what I'm getting with this. And I also feel like you as well value those special little moments with them. So soak it all in is what I'm getting. And then we have painting the roses red, covering up errors. So even though you may feel like whatever is going on with getting gifts from your partner or whatever, what have you, or giving them. There's no ill intentions, like I said before, or hidden agendas. And it's not to make up for something that they did wrong, okay? Because whatever they learned in the past, because this is find the lesson, discover the purpose, and in a situation, trust that you are learning. So with this, I feel like whatever happened in the past they definitely learned from it and would really like to move past that and to show you how much they love and value you and appreciate you okay and these are all your messages i get for this week with this so let's see what we get from the uh couple's rebel deck or oracle i need a drink hold on one second drinking some actual tea <laughs> I gotta get a cup that has tea in it for this that seems like it would be a cool idea so let's see what we get from our rebel deck shall we I'm asking for what you guys most need to hear right now for some honest and woo. <laughs> yeah. 52 pickup, right? Sure. Well, more like 60 pickup because there's 60 cards in this deck. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, <laughs> my card shot everywhere. Sorry guys. Bear with me for another second. Let's see what we get. Cause they're all like, shut up. <laughs> And just start pulling. <laughs> so let's see what you guys most need to hear for some honest truth this week. So, for my folks who chose Baby Jasper, we have go on a real fucking date. Smell good and get your sexy on. So I feel like getting out of the house a little bit and going out with your partner if you're in a current relationship or ask your crush out is much needed this week. So and that's what I'm getting from this card. Short and sweet. Love it. Then for my folks who chose my baby Oscar, we have Just Walk Away. Everyone could use a little fucking break. So with this, I feel like it's the whole clearing your space thing again with walking away from what no longer serves you and releasing it and letting it go. And then from Rainbow, we have pack your bags. Get the hell out of town. It will make you both lovable again. So I feel like taking a trip might be what's called for this week. Or if you're tr doing some traveling this week, it's definitely... Um, much needed at this time and to also even if it's for your job try and find like the beauty and the little things on your journey from like um 
during your travels from like home to work or whatever, what have you. Okay. And also this is another space clearing type of thing too. pack up what no longer serves you and toss that junk. Okay. And I want to do the, uh, food fortunes to see what we get for, um, whether it be some snacks or some healthy foods this week to munch on for us. I know it's going to seem kind of funny. I just felt like I kind of wanted to use this uh, deck today. And that way you guys kind of get a feel for what this deck actually does. Yep, that worked well. Let's try that again, shall we? Can't shuffle today for the life of me. I'm like, before that one says 52 pickup. What foods would be best for us to have this week? Bend that back because it's going to drive me bonkers if I don't. What foods would be best for us to have this week? I'm going to take three and I'm going to put one more. One second. No, nothing wants to come out for our last one. Come on, I need one more. Let's go. And then for an overall, we have the squeeze. Some vitamin C is needed this week. Love me some OJ. That's a good overall card for the week. So if you guys like orange juice as much as I do, definitely grab you some. It'll help with the... Um, colds that have been going around lately then we have queen of sides some salad yeah some good healthy salad i love me some salad i don't care i love me some salad put some chicken up in there and some croutons mm, it's good especially with some caesar dressing i love me some caesar dressing then we have the steeped one ah tea ha <laughs> ha i love me some tea Let's all have some tea together this week, shall we? Other than this reading. That's perfect. And then we have the Vietnamese. For me, this kind of looks like a sub, which is pretty awesome. I guess I'll be having a sandwich this week. So that's what we get for this week for some munchies. And these are actually some pretty healthy options for a change. So that's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and please consider subscribing if you're new here and to all my other subscribers that have been with me for a while. I thank you, appreciate you, and I love you all. Please have a blessed one and catch the next reading.